Hello everyone, this is video two. Uh, this is going to be the testing of the thermoelectric cooler with 10 thermoelectric generator that I built from a previous video. You can go watch and see how I made it. But it has 10 thermoelectric coolers. The cheaper, they, there's two different kinds, thermoelectric coolers and thermoelectric generators. Go to the previous video if you want to find out about that. And I have three tea candles here. But this will be a series of tests, and it'll be two videos, but they're both merged into this one part. So let's get started. Hello everyone, this is the first test. It'll merge into another video. Um, this is the first test though, but the second will be with a cell phone and... and LED light. This is the first test. I just wanted to hook it direct without the USB 5 volt booster just to see how many volts I could get out of this with no load. And then I'll hook it up to an LED light and get the milliamps. We're up to about 4.3 9 volts right now. This is with ice cubes. Maybe I'll do a quick one with just cool water because that'd be more realistic if you were out camping. It does not put out a lot of amps, so. Directly without this USB booster. It won't do a whole lot, so you're going to have to have this. And this is with only 10 thermal electric coolers, so. This is already pretty bulky to take camping, but this is just an experiment. We're up to 5 volts right now. See, there's three tea candles under it. Might be able to get up to about six volts, but let me put some cold water in and see what happens. Okay, we just have some cool water I got out of the faucet. Keep in mind if you were out camping, once the Heat equalize the heat equalizes with the cool top. Once both sides equalize, then it drops back down to zero. We're up to three volts right now with no ice, just cool water. We'll see about what we could get to. I'll turn this off for right now. Okay, we're up to four volts. And it's still going up. We're up to five volts. It's been about five minutes. And it's still climbing. I don't want to get it too hot, so. Because I don't know how much heat this will take, these thermoelectric coolers. As you can see, I'm up to 5.11 volts, though, right now. And it's still going up. So let's go to testing the LED light and then a cell phone, a totally dead cell phone. Hello everyone, I have the thermoelectric generator that I built. Go to previous video if you want to see how to make it. Uh, 
I have it hooked up to a LED. I bought this, at, I got it for free at Harbor Freight and then I just cut it and hooked it up. It has nine LED bulbs inside of it. It's lit right now. I have the thermoelectric generator full of ice and I have three candles, tea candles. Right now, the one on the left is the amperage it's in series with the LED light and then the voltage. I'll set this on top of the candles right now. Okay, I got it set up on the candles, three candles. I'll just let you watch it. The the amps are milliamps, so it's not putting out a lot of amps. I think I got it up to about 14. It's hooked to a this uh, USB voltage booster to 5 volts. It's under a load with the LED light right now, so it's not quite getting it up to 5 volts. It's getting up to, right now it's at 2.73. So you can see the milliamps is up to 7.8. I'm not sure how hot you can get these thermoelectric coolers underneath. Kind of hard to see this one. Ah. The wire came off. There, I got it back on. See, we're up to about 10 milliamps. So we got 2.79 volts and 10 milliamps. It's not putting out quite what I want, but you can light a LED pretty good, an LED light bulb. Works great for that. I could do it with just cool water if you were out camping. You could just put cool water in and get the LED to light. Now I'll do another test with the cell phone. This cell phone is an old cell phone I found in the drawer. The battery is totally dead. I cannot turn it on. Here's the on button. It will not go on. But with this thermoelectric generator, I can get it to turn on. And I'll do that test here in a moment. It would take a long time to charge it. I think these are 1500 milliamp hour batteries so do the math if it's charging I don't even know if it could charge it because it's only two I think they're about a three volt battery it could put a little bit of a charge into it but it would take you'd have 1500 milliamp hours divided by I'm getting it up to 13 so it'd take a while but an emergency if your phone was dead you could at least get it to go on with this so you can see I'm up to 13.42 I'm going to take this off of the candles because I don't want to burn this thing up I, I want to do a few more tests before I try to heat it up to see how much heat it can take it. See, I'm getting up to 14 milliamps now though. And almost 3 volts under a load. If there's no load, as I showed in the previous video, it's, this regulator regulates it to about 5, a little over 5 volts, the USB 5 volt regulator. So, 
That's the first test. Now I will do the cell phone test. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is try to hook this cell phone up to this wire and you'll see that it will turn on if I can do it. As you can see the light just went on. I'll put the, it's not on the candles yet, but I'll put it on the candles. You can hear it's going on. Put that on the candles. There's the milliamps. It's drawn 2.5 right now. The voltage, I gotta put the lead in. I got a mess going here, but this is how I've been doing it. You can see the phone is now charging very slowly. The amps really jump up, up and down. Must have, I don't know why. Let me turn this light off, see if there we can see it a little better. open up the cell phone so you can see the battery was dead and it's trying to charge right now it's not putting near enough voltage in but if you had a totally dead battery you could hook this up and hopefully maybe use it I don't know Everything's functioning. If anyone knows why that amperage jumps up so much, up and down, let me know. But I noticed on the regulator it is turning off and on so maybe it has something to do with that I'm sure it does anyway this has been a real interesting and fun project to do myself if anyone has any other ideas they want me to test let me know and I'll do it but it will run an LED nine LED bulbs and it will start up a dead cell phone so it's not putting out as much amps as I thought it would milliamps or voltage under a load but it was a fun experiment be safe everyone thanks for watching